Hello everybody and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. I just want to put this out there. When Brad Pitt came to me on August 7th of 2018, one of the questions that he asked me was if I had ever done porn and of course I said no. Because I've never done porn. I was gang raped and I was filmed and photographed and the films were edited to make it look like porn. I was held at knife point, and I was drugged. I was also threatened and told that I was going to be killed and left dead out in the desert so that the coyotes could eat me. So he asked me what would I do if I ever found some porn of myself online. And I said that if I ever found anything like that, that I was going to go to the cops. And when I did find it, I went to the cops. And the undersheriff was investigating it until the sheriff found out. And he stopped the investigation, even though the videos were there. I was told, oh no, that's not you, that's not you. Even though you could tell it was me. Because I have some distinguishing features. Well, guess what? I've gone to other people and I've showed them those videos. Those videos that you used to use to blackmail me and torment me and threaten me with showing them to people. I took those videos and I showed them to family members. I gave them all the information. And they seen you guys in the videos too. And they were like, oh my God, it is them. So they've identified you guys. And like I keep saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Daddy, you decided to skin my cat and cook her and eat her. I learned from you. <laughs> so nothing better happened to me. Because you know what? The family already knows what you've done. Not just the nuclear family, but the extended family, many times removed, and many generations. And if anything should happen to me, the first person's of interest is going to be you. And if the cops don't get you, the family is going to definitely know it was you. And I know what a coward you are, George Bermuda Sr., because when you were confronted by your older brother and your sister-in-law, you started crying like a pussy. And started saying, why is she saying this? But that's not what you were doing when you were sexually abusing me. And trafficking me. And making child porn with me at age 7. And doing these things to your students. So I'm just putting it out there. You guys need to turn yourselves in and you guys need to stop this mess because light is being shown upon you and it is like noon time and there's going to be no shadows left. So folks, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Share, share, share so that there's not one more victim of human trafficking and put it out there because there will be no accidents for me, no suicide attempts, there will be no damage to my properties or to anything that I own or to anything else in the family that is protected and dear and loved to me. You will not do one more thing to me or my loved ones or my things. Again, folks, thank you so much for getting this out there. Thank you so much because each and every one of you being a witness to what's going on is going to put a stop to these people. 
And I know a lot of these people right now that have done things to me are hiding. Because they know that the truth is getting out. And I'm not just doing it for me. I'm doing it for all the victims. Because my stepfather, George Bermuda Sr., was a school teacher. He was superintendent of the bilingual program. And he hurt children. When he should have been teaching them and taking care of them in class. And I got some more stories to tell you about. So, again, thank you for everything, and keep sharing it.